Okay, well, it looks like everybody's here in this meeting, so could we go around the room, per se, and everybody tell me where they're at with their stories for the next issue of Basin Today? I worked with the CEO on his new column, and I think it turned out great. I really hope he likes it. So many members are doing such great things, I don't know who to pick to feature. I think there's a box around here. Maybe if I go sit in it, it'll help me figure it out. I am so ready for this pandemic to be over. I'm running out of ideas on how to get socially distanced photos. Well, I had my story done, but I mistook it for homework and I ate it. I do have a huge annual meeting to plan, but if you need any help, let me know. I'd be happy to help. I know you all are very busy, but if possible, could you leave a little more time for design this time? You know, magic doesn't happen overnight. You know, let's think for a minute about who our audience is. Who is this magazine for? It's for our members and our employees. And if we keep that in mind, this issue is sure to be a winner. I just know it. Basin Today is one of the only remaining print pieces that we do at Basin Electric, and it's a way for us to put uh, a face on the electric industry. About four years ago, our communication staff was reduced by actually almost half. We had to take a good hard look at our projects to make sure that the ones that we continued to do would be the ones that were providing the greatest impact to our members. In our discussions, we talked about whether the continuation of a printed publication was the best use of our time and resources. That came up in our discussion. And so we decided to survey our members and ask them what they found the most valuable. Basin Today was the number one resources where our members got their information from. And so uh, we made a few changes, uh, mostly to um, the frequency of the publication, we went from a monthly pub publication to a quarterly publication, and it's worked out very well. One of the biggest things I learned in filling out the Silver Quill application was that Basin Today is almost the best of both worlds, uh, printed and digital. A big part of the content is repurposed for digital formats such as blogs, social media, and even at the digital monitors at our power plants. So it's a great way to maximize our staff time.